cannot beat this clan. You could come in with a 100% destruction and you still will not win. Today, guys, we're hanging out in Refractory 9, showing you guys five of the best Town Hall 9 attack strategies. What is up, my friends? My name is Echo, and no matter how much destruction you see, you're just not gonna win. Town Hall 9, Refractory 9, has it on lock. They give us different attack strategies without using bowlers or witches that are gonna triple in war all the time. Almost every time. Obviously, these things take practice, but what we're doing here today is showing you guys five of the attacks that you should be trying in friendly challenges, learning, and then bringing them to war so you can have wars that look like this as well. 60 attacks, 100% damage, just completely dominating competition and uh, and really not losing. You could be the best Town Hall 9 in your clan using some of these strategies. Let's get into the first one, but before we do, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell for daily Clash of Clans videos, but don't forget about my brand new YouTube channel. It's right over here. It's called Echo Mobile Gaming, and we're featuring Diablo Immortal, which is actually Blizzard Mobile Games on that channel. Make sure you come on through if you're into that kind of thing and hit the subscribe button and the bell over there as well. So much content, so little time. Let's get into the first attack. The first attack we're looking at today is an Archer Queen Walk Lalo, and we're gonna jump right on into this one, guys. Keep these flowing today. Come in with the Queen Walk on the eastern side of the base and the Baby Dragon with the King over here as well. What you want to try and do is funnel that Queen into the base. What the Queen is gonna do is break through that wall with the Wall Breakers and then get to the air defenses, the Clan Castle, and the enemy Queen. When you're coming in with a Lalo attack, you need to get those, those structures taken out. Air defenses, you want to take out as many as you can, but it's more important you take out the enemy queen and the clan castle troops so that your balloons can just path on through the base nicely later on. Looks like the queen main, oh she, she actually did step up. Wall breakers got in there, did a nice job. Look at the minions being dropped above as well. Just making sure that the queen does not walk around and up that she actually goes and dives into the base. All is looking good. The clan castle lore was successful. Poison spell on top of the baby dragon. The Valkyries, oh man, they are working hard, but the queen, her ability was used. Gotta take down the clan castle and you have to take down the enemy queen. So right now, our queen is going to try to get that done and she does objective complete the queen walk that's all that was needed if she lives on from this point it's just all bonus she can be forgotten right now Lala was coming in from down south balloons starting out then lava hounds coming on in pathing to the air defenses luring any mines out along the way the only number we only have three hay spells left in the attack from this point on so you have to kind of use them wisely getting these balloons into the base has been a struggle with that sweeper maybe we should have gone in from the other side from the west actually because that sweeper is a big problem but we're going to get some balloons right here into that hay spell and they are going to zip right on through on top of those balloons you on top of those air defenses i'm sorry but notice the queen walk is still going so even if the balloons did die out if time was okay the queen could possibly finish off this base balloons are trying their best to make their way over that air defense that air sweeper was brutal on this attack but the balloons got it done the queen is now continuing her way through the base trying to beat down some of that wall as well minions on the town hall they're going to be cleaning up around the outside of the base from the west up to the north and the balloons are going to path over to that archer tower will they get there in time to keep our queen alive. She is struggling right now, guys. That mortar may be the end of things for her. Oh my goodness, will she stand? The queen is going to survive. The balloons took out the archer tower just in a nick of time. The queen can path on through, take out the rest of this base. The number one attack in today's video is a queen walk, Lalo. The strongest attack strategy overall in Clash of Clans at any town hall level. Town halls nine through town hall 12. Yet, it's probably one of the most difficult and the one that you need the most practice to perform to see this kind of success, especially as you get higher up in the town hall levels. But it's brutal, and it can really crush bases like you just saw. And guys, I want to remind you of the Echo Ween event going on right now. In celebration of Halloween, we have a trophy race, and it's happening over on ClashChamps.com. All you have to do is head on over to the website, and right on the homepage, you will see this stunning zombie. Yeah, that's me. It's looking kind of creepy and all, but that is me for my Echo Ween event. And all you have to do is to participate is to hook yourself up to the Clash Champs website, create your account 
really quickly and then get in on the trophy race, which we have going on right here. Town Hall 8 minimum is 1,000 all the way up to Town Hall 12 minimum is 4,000 prizes for each Town Hall level based on where you end up and if you are the top trophy pusher. The dates of this event are between the 15th of October and the 1st of November. I will be participating in my Legends League pushing uh, when I just am trying to hold it down and be the best. Although I know you guys are going to come through and crush, crush me. Let me know in the comments below where you currently are in trophies right now and your town hall level. Head over to ClashChamps.com and get involved in my event. Let's go. The next attack we're looking at today is the MXG attack strategy, which is brought to us by Lil MX and actually was developed right here in this clan. I put out a few videos on this attack strategy itself, but it definitely has deserved its spot as the uh, number two in today's attack video and basically what we're looking at is an avalanche attack with hog riders that come in on the Tesla on the outside of the base. Look at all these wizards coming in behind the tanking golem. Even a golem coming out of the clan castle as well. Now the plan here is to have these golem pathing straight through the base. Taking jump spells. Taking the earthquake which we're about to see dropped as well. And just go straight on through. And behind those golem which are tanking all the troops behind. Are going to be wizards which have high damage per second. But they can't take a lot of heat. They can't take a lot of hits themselves. So between the golem going through the base. And on the outside. With the heroes going in behind the golem. And the wizards behind that. Then we also have hog riders that are going to come in and while defenses are distracted like this archer tower up here They come through and start beating down on some of those defenses Unfortunately that one did not take out that archer tower But the hog riders are a great part of this attack even the skelly spells look at that skelly spell doing some work right there on the archer tower Just softening it up allowing for the hogs to path over there next and then the heroes to come on behind With their full health because you know they weren't really targeted too much because the golem are there to protect actually the king doesn't have full health, I lied. But the queen, she's looking pretty solid. Uh, they're going to just continue on through, breaking through some wall. And behind those golem and golemite, they're going to take out what's left. As you can see, there's one wizard left in the composition. I see zero defenses left. The wizard could be dropped right now to help clean things up, but I'm not sure if it's going to. There is nothing but this one corner hut. Looks like the queen is going to take care of that. Then the wizard can be dropped. And I want you to notice that little MX waited to make sure the queen passed to that air to that. Uh, builder's hut in the west before dropping the wizard in case the queen did not path to the west and instead path down that wizard would have been needed to drop on that builder's hut to make sure it was not a time fail the mxg strategy have you tried it it's one on today's list there are three more to go let's get into number three and this attack is the Queen Walk Drag Loon. Again, coming in with a Queen Walk. And if you're at Town Hall 9 and you have the question, what level should my Queen be before I start Queen Walking at Town Hall 9? My answer would be level 15 for a Queen. You can sneak by with a level 10 Queen, but obviously the power is not going to be there. I would bring an extra healer along as well if your Queen is lower level than max level at Town Hall 9. Um, you know, you have to make up for that power that the queen just doesn't have yet when you don't have her fully upgraded. And I fully know that the Town Hall 9 grind is real. It's legit. And it takes a long time to actually get those heroes up. But it could be done. We've all done it. You guys could do it as well. Don't give up. There's the rage spell on that queen. And basically what's happening here is the queen is going to path on through the base nicely. Then... After the base has been funneled down, we're going to have some air defenses taken out right here. We're going to see the dragons come in with the balloons and just take out the rest of the base. It really is a sweet attack strategy. And I want to also note, while we're just sitting here watching this queen be a boss, that there are other strategies that are amazing as well. I want to remind you, this clan does not use bowlers or witches, so you're not going to see any witch slap or gobo wee wee attacks in these videos because these guys they they challenge themselves a little bit more they say we don't want those witches we don't want those bowlers we're going in with the heart with really what town hall nine is all about and uh well they make the best of it they don't lose they pull in 100 percent wars here come those dragons they're coming in from the northern side of the base notice the base was funneled air defenses were taken down lava hound coming in to tank that air defense man that's a beautiful play the air defense is completely overwhelmed with that 
Lava Hound, or I should say distracted, and the balloons are sneaking in behind, taking out the defenses that would really do some serious damage to those dragons, taking them out of the equation altogether. Not only that, while the dragons are pathing through the base, the queen, she's still walking around the base. The clan castle was a Lava Hound, and the cool thing about dragon attacks, guys, you don't need to worry about the clan castle. Dragons will path through and they will burn anything in their way. It does not matter. So these dragons here, they're chasing around the Lava Hound, although they wish they'd just leave it alone because it won't bother the air portion of the attack. But it's the AI of the game. They don't actually know that. There's nothing that says don't attack Lava Hounds. So the dragons will, and they will just waste their time on it. But we have other dragons going through. Look at those dragons tanking for that balloon as it approaches the Tesla farm. Three Teslas still standing in that farm, and the dragons are... Well, the poison spell is going to be used right there on those pups. Worked out nice. Queen's abilities used. Dragons pathing through. Dragons going to take out the rest of those those um, lava pups. Queen's doing what she does best, and at 99%, we're going to have a triple in a moment as the queen shoots over the wall and takes down the Tesla for the 100%. It's a queen walk drag loon, and I got one that's even more exciting coming right now. The Skelly Donut Dragloon. Check it out right here, guys. We have four skeleton spells. They are going to be dropped on the clan castle. There we go. Rage spell, four skeleton spells. Watch this go down as the clan castle goes down as well. This was in my last video where I featured Refractory 9 as well. They like using the Skelly Donut because remember, guys, actually, there was only there was only three of them right there. Another one's being used right here on the queen, too. Taking out the enemy queen as well. Will it actually get the queen taken down? So close. Actually, no, not so close. A quarter of her. It's all good. Um, if you could take out a clan castle, before anything comes out of the clan castle, nothing will ever come out of the clan castle. So if there's something you're fearing inside of the CC, you could skelly donut that CC. Rage it, four skeleton spells, and it should go down, depending on what's around it, what's going to target it. But it really does do a nice job, allowing you to go into an attack and not have to deal with a clan castle. We have Sui heroes coming in, and what that means is there's no queen walk. The, the heroes are going in on a suicide mission. They're going in to get a few things done, and in this case, it was to take down those air defenses. The queen may actually get to a point where she can engage with the enemy queen. I'm not sure. I think the dragons may get there first, and our queen's going the wrong way. She's going up to the east where the dragons got it all covered, and now she's going to wall pound for the rest of the attack. It's just, just figures. Here comes the clan castle lava hound coming in, and it's going to tank a little bit more, taking out some traps along the way. There are no air defenses left, so it's just going to tank the archer tower, the teslas, and the wizard tower as the dragons press on through. Our queen, she's still pounded on that wall like we said. Going to try and make her way through. Her, her ability's intact. Honestly, it's not going to be needed here. The dragons got this all covered. As long as they can take out those traps that are being annoying right there, and they are. That Lava Hound play was a very good play. It tanked four defenses, not air defenses, but defenses that target air, that would have beaten down these dragons enough to give them maybe, you know, maybe actually take them down and make this not be a triple. Now, as you can see, the dragons are down. They did not make it through that compartment. Lucky for us, our king and queen are still intact. If the queen would have passed around to the west instead of passing to the right, I think it did that backwards. To the west, no, to the west instead of to the east. There we go. Um, it would have been better off. She would have taken out these defenses and the dragons would have stood, but it still gets done at the end of the attack. Anyway, more, more pounding to go, but the queen is being tanked by the golemite, as is that wizard and an archer. And, uh, well, the wizard's going to take down that, that, uh... Archer Tower. That's what it's called. It's the Archer Tower. I like the Skelly Donut Dragloon, but there's one more we have to show you before we're done. The Avalanche Attack Strategy is one of the oldest in the game, and it's one that we've seen rise up along with Lalo throughout the years. Now, the MXG Attack Strategy is a modification of the Avalanche Attack. You're still going to have your golem pressing on through the base going and diving straight on in with the wizards and hero behind. In this strategy, there are no hog riders to go in and, you know, strategically take out defense here and there. This is just a straight swoosh. It's a wave. It's a tidal wave coming through the base of stone and fire. Stone from the golem, fire from the wizards, and they're going to push right on through into the center of the base and storm on through. Now, this base looks tough. 
It has these two compartments, these two islands with those expos in the center. And that can be hard to deal with, but check out how Sun gets this done with some wall breakers, with a golem tanking for those wizards, and then the wizards should hopefully step on up and get in on that expo. We have two of them actually going on in. Same thing is going to happen up in the northern side of the base, or the northeastern side, except for... I'm wondering, I don't think we have any golem. So the skeleton spell is gonna be used, or not any wall breakers, that's what I meant to say. Skelly spell, getting some great value again. I love how Refractory Non utilizes the Skelly spell aka the guard spell they use it better than anyone i've seen in any other clans i cover now mind you they are a town hall 9 clan so they have less troops to work with and less spells town hall 12s have more to deal with or more to work with as do town hall 9 town hall 10s and town hall 11s so they're working with what they got and they're making it work and they're pulling in 100 wars and they're making me make these videos for the top five attack strategies that you could use at town hall 9 to be just like refractory 9 because they are they're amazing they just don't lose, guys. And now, they didn't win this war. They tied. It was a 100 to a 100. But how often does that actually happen in Clash of Clans where both clans 100% damage each other? It doesn't happen that often. But Refractory 9 will not lose. They would rather tie than pull in a loss. And they demonstrated that today. And I think Supercell has a present for me on my main base. Let's go check. Oh yeah, they totally do. It's this gem box, which I'm going to remove right now as we close out the video. I want to remind you guys to head on over to ClashChamps.com so you can get in on the Echo Ween event. This is the second time I'm promoting this in one of my videos. So I want to see if you guys are keeping up with me. I'm going to be over 5,000 cups in Legends League as a Town Hall 12. Will you defeat me? Or will I defeat you? Who wants those champs bucks? You can get great stuff with champs bucks. They're bucks for champs, which is really good stuff. So head on over to ClashChamps.com. Remember, I have a new Instagram account as well where you can follow me and see things that go on in my life and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Now, just to look at this war one more time, looking at the uh, the events, there we go. 60 to 60, 100% war. Refractory 9 is where it's at. Thanks so much for coming through this video. Make sure you check out my second YouTube channel where I have Blizzard Mobile content. You'll find it here and in the description of this video. And uh, I guess that's all. Before you head out of here, though, check out this one because you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you guys back here later on today in another video. Until then, be good.